Back to our election coverage now. Idaho is a very red state. Republicans dominate the voter rolls, but there is a large number of unaffiliated voters followed by registered Democrats. According to the Secretary of State's office, as of November 2nd, there are just over 1 million registered voters in Idaho now. Of those, 580,000 are Republican. Only 130,000 are Democrat. I say only because compared to the Republicans. 280,000, though, are unaffiliated or independent. 11,000 some are Libertarian, and just over 4,000 are Constitution Party members. For a look at what those Idaho voters are going to be weighing in on, Chief Political Reporter Joe Harris joins us now. And Joe, we are preparing for live comprehensive coverage right here on Channel 7 tonight, right? Yes, yeah, sure. and we will be having running updates for you really starting now throughout the evening as we also watch some national races here on News Channel 7. But starting tonight at 9 p.m., we will begin our full-length coverage at KTVB.com and KTVB+. Plus. And then at 10 o'clock, we'll continue online, but we'll also begin our coverage right here on News Channel 7. So, Shira, a big night ahead. Yeah, so for folks who might be watching at home, what can they expect from our coverage tonight? Well, we set the stage here nicely on the news at four year. As you saw already, our team is across the Treasure Valley right now, keeping tabs on all kinds of election things. Of course, before the polls close, we'll be keeping an eye on lines and any possible issues at the polls. But as polls come to a close, we'll have live looks at turnout and issues that voters saw during the day. In terms of the actual results, we'll have all of those really at 9 o'clock as those start to come in. And of course, Doug, we're going to have a lot of this cool on our interactive touchscreen. We'll be able to really piece the whole races across the state. You know, we've seen a lot of growth here in Idaho population wise in the last few years, Joe. So why is it 9 p.m. that we'll start getting results if the polls close at 8? So Idaho is one of those states that has this really interesting intricacy here. Idaho is actually split into two time zones. So if you're new to the area, this is good for you to know. A portion of the state up north is actually in the Pacific time zone. So they close polls at 8 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Mountain. So right after 9 p.m. is when we're going to start seeing those results populating here in the state of Idaho. And the major highlight in the state here is the statewide races. The top leadership team in the state of Idaho will shape the future of Idaho going forward. And here on News Channel 7 tonight, we're going to visualize all those races for you across the state. You can see here behind me, taking a look at the governor's race, lieutenant governor, attorney general, secretary of state, of course, the constitutional amendment, which we'll get into later on. And we're also uh, really tracking the balance of power. This is a major midterm election. Idaho's role and what the balance of Congress will look like will likely be a Republican, but we have the results here in the U.S. Senate, David Roth and Mike Crapo, as well as Scott Cleveland. Those are the, seem to be the front runners in the U.S. Senate race. So uh, Doug and Shear, of course, again, if you're looking for results, nine o'clock, that's this place to be right here on News Channel 7. But, of course, we'll have wall-to-wall -wall coverage from now until, really, uh, you, you need to know. So uh, it's going to be a fun night, I think. And live results on KTVB.com yes. as well. Um, people can go in there and click through the races and see how it's shaping up, too. Joe, thanks a lot. Looking forward to your coverage tonight.